Hey music community, it's Jeff back. I figured I'd take some time here and do another one of the uh, episodes on CDs here. Uh, I'm not going to go into explaining everything like I did the first time as far as why I'm doing this and how I'm doing this, etc, etc. So if you're new to this and this is the first one you caught, just go back and watch the first few minutes of number one and it explains everything that I'm doing and how I'm doing it because I'm trying to keep these shorter just so we can breeze through these a little faster. I'm still in A. This will be part two of the A section, and it appears there's going to be a handful of more A's. So, But this is the end of the first box of the boxes I have them in, so then we're going to jump into that. Anyway, so this is my CD collection that has been boxed away that I am, uh, you know, a little bit moved around and I'm able to get to now. So we're going to jump in where we ended last time. We are up to Adrenaline Mob. Now, Adrenaline Mob, when I first got into them, their first, uh, they had like a digital uh, EP that came out in 2011. I was drawn to it because of Russell Allen, the vocalist from Symphony X, and Mike Portnoy, the drummer. A lot of great musicians in this band that have played, you know, with other bands too, but those were the draw for me. And so then they released their, actually their, this would have been their, I think their first, uh, 2012, their first actual album. Uh, with Mike Portnoy on drums. Then they did a covers album. Um, High Wire, Stand Up and Shout, Break On Through, Romeo Delight, Barracuda, Kill the King, A Lemon Song, The Mob Rules. So these are the two that had Mike Portnoy on them aside from the EP that started off. And then he moved on and AJ Perro of Twisted Sister fame uh, moved in and did the next, I think, well, the next album before he passed away uh 2014 i'm not sure uh, the 2017 album i think may have been without him but anyway so they had two more albums 2014 and 2017 which i do not have on cd but i do have digitally and i would like to pick those up on vinyl at some point um at least one of them i think is available anyway adrenaline mob all right moving on adrian gale I'm sure there's not a ton of band, people that know about this band. Adrian Gale is on a little record label, uh, Kival Records. Kival, Kival, K-I-V-E-L. Um, to me, pretty much anything on that record label is going to be right up my alley. They are just, they specialize in melodic, hard rock, metal, 80s style, whatever you want to call it. A lot of bands with hair and a killer melodic sound and this is one of the bands. Now this also uh, is a band that that features the vocalist of Jamie Rowe who was the original, you know, was the singer back in the days for Guardian, for Tempest, some other uh, Christian bands. This is a mainstream band that he joined forces with and you know did some songs with, uh, did some albums with. Uh, Reprogram, uh, this is a uh, this is kind of more like yeah, live and acoustic stuff and then this is one of the earlier ones, Crunch. And then I believe that's the first album, just called Adrian Gale. They, uh, I'm not sure if they've, I don't think they've done anything real recently, but they have these and they're really, really, really just solid, solid, hard rocking albums. Um, I'm a big fan of Jamie. I mean, I've, I've known him since he was like 17 and we used to talk on the phone back in the early days. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna follow what he does and he's, he's just does great on there. The band is great, just top-notch stuff. If you don't know, K-I-V-E-L, Kivel, Kivel Records, check them out. They have a lot of great bands along this line. There are some labels like uh, Frontier Records, where most every band's going to be of that classic hard rock metal sound of the of yesteryear, and I can almost buy anything on Frontier Records. Well, this is the same with this label. Almost anything on this label is going to be right in that little niche that I'm looking for. All right, moving on. My one and only Aerosmith album. Yeah, I know. It's just one of those bands that I hadn't really been big on. And I bought this probably in one of those, you know, uh, cutout bins. Because I do like this album. I like most of their stuff. I just don't have a lot of their stuff. So that's the only one I got by them. Uh, and I don't have anything by them on vinyl yet. So, And then we pick, we've got the two first two Aldo Nova albums. Uh, I really appreciate his stuff. I, I have the other ones he's got uh, on digital. But I have these two uh, on CD. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. We're going to go into, get these out of the way. Let's see, which one's first? All right, technically these then, I guess. And I had mentioned this in the first video, how they put Alice Cooper in there, because Alice Cooper starts with an A, the way that these are sorted from Discogs. Um, big fan of Alice Cooper. Mostly his, you know, solo stuff, the post 
70 stuff. I like the 70 stuff, but I don't own a whole lot of it in any format. And so, uh, you know, I'll pick them up if I find them, but I haven't tracked down a lot of those. So, uh, welcome to my nightmare, or welcome to my nightmare, the second one. I, I love this album, love these albums. There's a live album, uh, Live at Hammersmith, 2009. Nine. Great stuff. Along Came a Spider. Dirty Diamonds. I do have a handful of these on, on vinyl that I've been able to pick up. The Eyes of Alice Cooper, like this one. Dragon Town, definitely this one. One of my favorites. Brutal Planet, probably one of the heaviest albums Alice has ever done. I, I'm going to say that. It's probably one of the just heaviest, hardest metal, lyrical and musical wise that he's ever done. Fistful of Alex, kind of a live, well, it is a live. Uh, live great stuff the last temptation this is really the time period where i really kind of really got back into him i love this album great stuff and so yeah big fan of that hey stupid trash raise your fist and yell constrictor and what can what would collection would be complete without welcome to my nightmare one so uh, that's it, and uh, I do have this one on, on vinyl too. So that's it with the Alice Cooper. And then stay in with the A's. Alice and Chains. Now, anybody that's known me for any length of time knows I'm not a huge 90s grunge fan, and I'm not really not really a huge Alice and Chains fan, but a long time ago, and the videos are gone now because it was an offer I did, but um, a handful of years ago, uh, a good friend of mine from my former band passed away and his wife passed on his CD collection to me and he was into the 90s stuff. He was a little bit younger than me and so I inherited this and I kept it because it is, you know, it's the best of. I figured I should have at least some Alice in Chains. So I have a whole box of CDs in there that I was trying to give away or pass on to other people uh, in some early, early videos that I've pulled down since then and anyway, I pulled that one for my own use. Ale and Ant Farm, Smooth Criminal, the single. The main reason I did this is because back when this first came out, uh, the band I was in at the time, which would have been in the early 2000s, we started playing this. And then the band that I ended up being in in the mid-2000s, we ended up playing this too. So I did have the single for that. It's the only Alien Ant Farm I have. Okay, Russell Allen and John Land, Land, Lande. Again, Russell Allen, Symphony X fan. Uh, Jorn does a lot of stuff under that name, and he's uh, just both amazing vocalists, and they've done a handful of albums like this where they've gotten together and just some amazing melodic power-type metal stuff. Only when I've got, uh, happened to run across this in a use bin a handful of years ago, but they've got a couple like that great stuff. Uh, one of the only other one of the one of the other few 90s 2000 bands that I get into uh, that I loved back in the day at least was Ultra Bridge. We got Ultra Bridge three, Ultra Bridge Blackbird, and some of the bands I've been in over the years have played this. One Day Remains. Now, honestly, I've kept up digitally with some of their other stuff, but to me, it all kind of starts sounding the same. I don't, I don't feel like that they've changed a whole lot, and so I haven't really went out of my way. To buy their stuff but I do have the initial ones and then I don't know I guess I kind of started getting distracted slash bored with it I don't know um, Amaran's plight another one that maybe not a lot of people know about uh, Nick DiVagilio is the drummer on here and I'm a big fan of his he's uh, Spock's beard used to be a Spock's beard done a lot of work and uh, DG Coop DJ Cooper uh, DC Cooper on vocals uh, I forget the band he was in but anyway it's just a it, it's a bunch of guys that are of somewhat notoriety got together and put out just an amazing you know hard rock album that uh, I just had to pick up I like Nick's work and I wanted to really hear that he's a great vocalist he's a great drummer and this was just a great album all right I got a, a bunch of angel here so this is uh these are combos I remember buying these a handful of years ago on earth this is in heaven a white hot it's a double CD in a slip case. I believe it's a yeah single CD, but it's got you know both albums on there. Kind of a two on one, and then we got Angel and hell of a band. 
And these are kind of a you know neat little sets where you can get four of the main key albums there. Angra, another one I've picked up. I love the you know Euro power metal type stuff, and I've had some other stuff before, but over the years have you know passed it on to other homes. Uh, again, I picked up a bunch of this at a store here locally that had some used stuff. They don't sell CDs anymore, but uh, great stuff. All right, Animal, 900 pound steam. Kind of a homemade type CD, and then Animal. Uh, Violent New Breed. Animal is uh, Randy Piper of Wasp. Went off, formed another band that to me sounds just like Wasp. I mean, the singer, everything. It's like resurrected 1980s Wasp. Great stuff. And uh, anyway, I need to check and see if they've got anything else new. This was kind of like an early self release, and this was kind of like their one of their first albums, I think. But. Uh, I just thought these guys, you know, this was some great stuff. Very, 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 very similar sounding to the early 80s Wasp that Randy was involved in. And then, let's see, this is the last one for this particular set. Animetal USA. Now, Animetal is, there's a band, uh, I believe, yeah, a different a band in Japan called Animetal. And they do a lot of... Um, uh, metal versions of Japanese, I don't know, were they pop songs, were they video games, more or less video games, animation, uh, and you know, uh, movies, soundtracks, things. I forget the exact thing, but this is a U.S. version, and they do the same thing, and there's something on it, that um, where they do a lot of songs that I'm not familiar with, because they're probably either from games or uh, you know, Japanese, uh, you know, uh, anime, things along that line, but... An all-star band. We've got uh, Michael Scarra on vocals. We got Chris Impelitari on guitar. We've got Rudy Sarzo on bass and Scott Travis on drums. They wear makeup and everything. They got the cool look. Just you know, Chris Impelitari, great shredder. Anyway, just an all-star band. I love Mike Mascara's big favorite vocalist of mine. He did a little stint with Loudness. He did some other, a lot of other, he was the Obsession, early Obsession uh, stuff. He's, he, almost anything he's touched. I think he did something with Malmsteen. I mean, uh, uh, almost everything that uh, that he does, I try to get my hands on. He's a great vocalist. Anyway, had to check it out. I think they might have another release, but this is the only one I was able to get without uh, an arm and a leg being paid. But anyway, yeah, great stuff. So there you go. That is um, A's part two. We're up to A in and a metal, and I will pick up with that on the next one whenever that happens to be. Thanks a lot for watching, though. I will be back. Rock on and rock hard.